Welcome back everybody. Uh, I'm here again with another ROM review. Uh, this one is for the Nexus 6. Um, this is a new ROM out. Um, I was uh, in the XDA thread uh, looking around this morning after I got home from work and I happened to run across this. Uh, this ROM is called Phantom M uh, or Phantom ROM um, and it is going it is actually breaking the mold of all the other uh, marshmallow ROMs I'm sure they're going to start catching up um, but you wait to see the features on this uh, so let's just go ahead and get right into it so we're gonna go to settings now when I drop down here to go to about phone you're gonna notice a couple things you're gonna notice number one developer options are there uh, and system UI tuner is on these come on by default uh, this also comes with super user uh, it also comes with benzo kernel already in it so uh, since I use benzo kernel as my uh, daily uh, driver kernel um, lately anyways with uh, with all the marshmallows now when I run lollipop I, I, I really like to stick with hell's core um, I don't have to flash another kernel because it's got what I want so this again is one of those uh, flash the ROM flash the G apps because this one doesn't come with G apps and reboot and you're good to go uh, it does not force encryption um, and that's about all I can think about that so uh, but as you can see this is for the uh, the Nexus 6 uh, Android version 6.0 and if we press on it a whole bunch of times we get our marshmallow and if I press and hold the marshmallow of course we get the uh, floppy Androids game. All right. Uh, this is uh, October twenty third build, and um, SE Linux is permissive on this. And the build number is MRA five uh, eight K. Um, now, if we go to uh, the System UI Tuner, um, you're going to notice there are a few options missing that we normally see on it. I think they just took them out basically because nobody really uses them. Uh, but here you here's where you go to uh, to change your tiles around. Um, like say I want my flashlight uh, in my hotspot position, I would just press and move it uh, and drag it over where I want, and then you, there you have it. And of course, if you go to your status bar settings, this here is where you're turning on and off all the features that are showing in your status bar. Uh, say I don't run Ethernet at all, so you know I'm going to shut that off. Obviously, um, I don't, and I'm not going to have my work profile on because I don't care that it shows that my work pro profile is there. I only have two profiles on this phone. I know when I'm on it, uh, but it's nice. This feature's nice. You can turn them off, turn them off. I don't use Cast, at least not on this phone. Uh, developer options. Uh, I'm going to go slow through this because there are some options in here that we're going to want to look at. Uh, we start scrolling down through here. You notice theme. Uh, if, you can, if you remember correctly, in the I think it was the first uh, release. Uh, it was the M Preview 1. I'm pretty sure it was Preview 1. We had this option in it. Uh, dark light theming. Well, they brought it back for this ROM. I love it. Um, now it changes your... Uh, settings uh, to a dark UI um, and it does more than just your settings uh, your uh, uh, your toast notifications stuff like that is gonna look like this um, so I'm gonna keep it this way because I like it dark um, I know a lot of people out there are going to gripe at me because they want to see it look like this uh, it's easier on my eyes uh, in the dark mode uh, and I can read it better and it also saves on battery running it in the dark mode uh, scrolling down through here um, there is another couple options in here I wanted you guys to see um, multi window feature is under uh, which is usually where it's at right here around your windows animation scales where you can actually change uh, your timing on your animations how much animation you want you know you can tweak this I usually leave it alone because on the uh, Nexus uh, 6, it's got plenty of RAM, um, and the processor is definitely got enough to uh, handle any kind of 
um, uh, any kind of uh, issues that uh, uh, you know that's going to throw at it. So I just leave it the way it is. Uh, but there's your multi-window feature, so you can turn it on or off. Um, I thought there was another another one here I wanted to show everybody. Oh, and the advanced reboot. Uh, normally we're used to used to seeing it all the way at the top. Well, now they have it pretty much all the way at the bottom, along with your device host name, which is usually at the top of developer options. It's now down here. So I have it enabled, uh, and as you can see, there are the options. Uh, and you can set them up too, and I'm going to show you where we're going to go to that. Uh, let's see, I'm not going to get into that yet. Uh, Alright, date and time. Uh, pretty standard. Uh, I'll go through accessibility, so you guys can see that. I know I don't usually show that, but I mean, if you wanted to change your color inversion, here's where you would do it. Uh, color corrections, right here. Um, language and input. This uh, ROM comes with AOSP keyboard, uh, which I prefer. Uh, I do like the Google keyboard, um, but I'm... My preference is definitely, uh, I lean more towards the AOSP keyboard. Now, they were having a lot of issues with it uh, to begin with, where swipe wouldn't work, uh, a lot of different things. And uh, I will tell you right now uh, that this ROM and every feature in it so far that I've tested uh, is working 100%. Um, so that takes care of language and input. Uh, let's see here. Security. I don't see anything uh, really outstanding on this or anything different. Uh, it's pretty standard. Uh, location, of course, we got everybody knows what where the you know the location is. You can set it to high. The way you would do that uh, is uh, you'd press mode and then you could set your uh, your uh, preferences to whatever you want. Uh, of course, you have tap and pay. Uh, you have your users, your memory management. Um, and then, again, this shows you uh, what is using the uh, your RAM on your device. Battery. I just unplugged this, so I'm not going to have any stats. Storage and USB. Um... You know what? And I don't have my dongle with me again. <laughs> I'm telling you, my, my next video, I'm going to make sure I have that dongle with me. But whenever you plug your dongle in, you get more options. Uh, you can actually go through, and this is almost like a, uh, a file management here. It, it'll show you your apps, images, videos, audio on your SD card. So that that's pretty cool. Uh, sound and notifications. I don't know why I had that turned down, but uh, let's see. Vibrate for calls. Um, they have a pretty good selection of notification and uh, phone ringtones. Uh, here are your other sound settings. And notification battery light. Now, they haven't got to the point where you can actually change the color of it. But the notification does come on. And when I say change the color, I mean go with custom colors. Uh, the way it works is um, I have it enabled. Uh, and then you get to pick whether it's long or, you know, uh, how you want it to show. And you guys can't see it, but uh, right now it's showing a bluish-white kind of notification, which is fine with me. At least it lets me know I have a notification. And I can set this uh, like... I'm going to make it go like um, very short and very fast. So if I have it go blink, 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 I know it's a notification. I can set it up to blink really slow and, you know, it could be something else. Uh, then again, you have your battery lights. Uh, you can enable that. 
um, for charging, for whatever. Uh, here is, oh, and here's your heads up notification where you can turn it on or off. Thank God we've got this feature now. Uh, I know a lot of people like heads up notification. I do not. I'm one of those people that do not like my notifications popping up. You know, I'd rather see it in my status bar and let me choose whether or not I want to open it. Uh, I don't want it popping up saying, hey, blah, blah, you know, whatever. Um, so that gives me the option to shut it off and, uh, and I just like options. Under display, um, I don't see anything really out of the ordinary on this. Um, of course, you have your ambient display. If you turn it on, then you can go in and change your doze nodes, or your doze, listen to me, doze nodes, your doze modes. Uh, and, of course, you, you your uh, your doze pulse, pulse timeout, uh, where you want it to, you know, timeout before it happens to come back on again. Uh, all your settings are, are there for that. Uh, again, I don't run that. Um, pretty basic features on here. Your font size, uh, if you wanted to go with a larger font, uh, you'd pick it. Uh, I want normal, not small, Jesus. Uh, normal. Uh, the DPI settings on this ROM are a little small for me. Uh, I, I kind of like them a little larger than this. Uh... You know, I may go and get a DPI changing uh, app and change this to about 6 or 620. Uh, then you have home. This is, of course, where your launchers are at. Um, it comes with the uh, AOSP launcher. Uh, and I also uh, am running right now, actually, the Nova Launcher uh, version 3.3. And uh, Layers Manager comes installed on it, which is, is cool. I, I appreciate that. Uh, you don't have to download that from the Play Store. And last but not least are our Phantom Tweaks. Here's where we're starting to get into the custom features. Uh, under your status bar, uh, you have your clock and date. These are your clock and date settings. And look at that. We can even change the color. Uh, this is great. Um, the wallpaper that I'm running right now, I want kind of a contrasting color, so, you know, but to change this, you would basically just uh, change to where you want by sliding this bar here, uh, and then just touching the button, that'll change your clock. For those of, you, those of you that don't know, but, you know, pretty much if you're watching this video, you know how to set stuff like this up. Uh, battery icon style, um, here, at least we have uh, a choice. Um, before, we didn't have a choice. It was just there. Uh, but you can actually hide it if you want. Um, I do want the battery. I do want the battery icon on there. Uh, at least until uh, my friends over um, on XDA um, can port the three-minute battery mod to this ROM. Uh, I hate asking those guys to do it, uh, but I, I may just keep this ROM and run it. So if I do, I'll run over there and put a request in, and they would be more than happy to uh, mod it over for this. You have your battery percentage, what, what you want to do with that. Hide it, you know, put it next to the icon, put it inside the icon. And then your carrier label options. Uh, I'm on Verizon, but I really don't uh, wish to advertise for them so I'm not going to have it showing. Uh, under recents uh, you have your clear recents uh, where where you want it to be. I normally have mine on the bottom right and that would actually turn it on or off your show uh, clear re show clear all recents. Notification drawer uh, this gives you your option for your quick pull down. Uh, this does work, by the way. If I pull down from the right side, it opens it up completely. If I pull down from the left side, it just brings down notifications. Uh, brightness slider is enabled. Uh, you can disable that if you want. Um, actually, you know what? I probably should have that at full brightness. I don't know why I didn't. Uh, then you have your vibration on touch. Show four tiles if you so choose to do that. Uh, 
uh, which I don't see why you'd want to, but, I mean, that's up to you. Everybody has their own preference. Uh, and then enlarge first row, which I like to have. I'm kind of growing used to that, so now I like to have it ena uh, enabled. Uh, then system UI tuner, which just takes you back to the system UI tuner. And buttons. Here's where you're going gonna, gonna to have your power menu options, which this is awesome. We finally have a power menu uh, options page where we can pick and choose a couple features that we want to throw on there. This is more than enough right here. Uh, I'd like to see a screen recorder on this. Uh, they may get it eventually. We'll, we'll have to see. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, that is it for, uh, for Phantom ROM. Uh, again, uh, I'll tell you guys, uh, this is an awesome, awesome ROM. I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. Um, it is, in my opinion, one of the top two ROMs out there right now. Uh, like I said before, uh, I run Mellow right now in my primary spot. Um, and Mellow doesn't have the features that this has, but Mellow is just a good, solid ROM. Um, I like the fact that it comes semi-themed. Uh, you know, yes, I know I can go to the Play Store and theme it. Um, but it's just, it is. And, and the Dev is, uh, the developer is a good, good person. Uh, he'll take requests. If they're not outlandish, um, you know, and I, I have a feeling that that ROM is going to pick up as well. And it's so solid and smooth that, that I keep it there. Uh, I can tell you that um, I'm probably going to replace Cataclysm with, uh, with this as my second Marshmallow ROM. Uh, well, guys, I hope you liked the review. Oh, and by the way, uh, in case you're wondering um, about the icons that I'm running here, uh, they are... look here uh, the icons are called plaque uh, you can pick them up from the Play Store I can't remember whether they're a paid icon or not um, if you guys know me from my videos you know that I like to purchase it if I can uh, you know just to show the developer that I appreciate his work um, but I'm sure there is a free uh, version of it but uh, it's a pretty cool um, icon pack especially if you don't want it uh, really um, you know, uh, taking away from your screen saver that you have on it, uh, unobtrusive, I guess. Um, and the screen saver is, uh, or my screen saver, listen to me, my wallpaper is just a wallpaper from Zedge. Uh, I can put a link in the description if you like it and want it. Uh, but that will be it for me on this one. Again, this is uh, Phantom M, or Phantom ROM, for the Nexus 6. Um, go to the XDA uh, thread and download it and give it a shot. Um, again, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Uh, I appreciate you watching. I uh, appreciate everybody that subscribed. And I will see you on the next one.